I feel like most of my videos I start in the morning, but uh, today it is definitely the afternoon and I just really want to have a gisting kind of afternoon. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can create websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. And I just really want to do stuff. I haven't done anything for like three days and so I kind of need to do a bit of cleaning. I just want to do some around the house stuff and I actually have some new decor stuff that I thought I would share with you as well and do like a little bit of a tour of some of my apartment, show you how I've styled things because I know a few of you have been requesting that. So I thought that that's what this afternoon could be. The first thing that I really want to do though is I am sitting at my desk but um, as you can see, it's just a little bit messy. So I wanna get in and clean this up and then I'll do like a little bit of a desk tour and show you how I've styled my desk, where everything's from, all of that. And then um, I'm gonna get up and do some other things. So it's all very satisfying to see it all neat and organized. Um, I thought I would do a little bit more of like an in-depth overview of my desk space because I've shown it before in videos but I've never really talked you through it. Starting down here on the floor, I actually have my printer. Uh, this was in the cupboard but I tried to use it the other day. It's a whole thing. It's just HP has changed the way that they do printers and it's just, uh, it needs to go back in the cupboard honestly. Um, and then I have this white fluffy rug that I got from Kmart a million years ago. I have this desk chair that is from Officeworks. My gold desk. I always get a million questions about this desk because it's obviously stunning. This is from Freedom. I'm not sure if you can still get it, but it's stunning and I absolutely love it. It's very heavy, but it's amazing. Up on top of my desk, I have these two little drawers. In the bottom one, I have some like electrical camera equipment, just like the tripod connectors, the things to be able to wipe down my computer screens, um, external hard drives, memory cards, all that sort of thing. And then in the top drawer, I actually also have um, just pens, pencils, and sort of that more artsy stationary stuff. And then this white little two drawer thing is from Officeworks. On top of it, I have this vase from Target. These, uh, what are these called? The grass, I can't think of what they're called, but these are from Kmart. They are really, really big, and I actually cut these up and like re-sticky taped them together to create a smaller one. Next to that, I have this frame. The frame is from Spotlight, and then the print is one that I just bought off Etsy, and then I have these two rainbow paperweights which are also from Target. Next to that I have three books. I have this sleep journal that is from Kiki K. I actually really don't use it. It's just very cute and I think it's got some candle wax on the side of it. Next to that I have my journal, my diary for writing all of my thoughts into. I also have a bunch of paper that I tore out of some of my notebooks when I did that big declutter. So they're just in there so I can make um, notes if I need to. I have an actual notebook at the front and then my little pencil case which is from Typo. Moving over, I have my little laptop. I have this gold clock that is from Target. Pretty sure you can get it. I saw them in the city store. But uh, to be honest, I would not recommend going shopping at all ever at the moment. You know, stay home. That's the right thing to do. So if you're going to buy anything, buy it online. I have this clear container that I use as a pencil holder. It was just a container that had a lid from like a $2 store. And then this is a wooden coaster that came as a set um, with a mug from Kiki K. And I just leave it there so I can put my morning coffee and whatnot on there and also next to that I have my big desktop computer with my keyboard I have uh, two mice do you call mice like computer mouse mice when there's plural, I don't know. Um, and then a round metal mouse pad that I got off eBay. And my computer's actually not plugged in because there is no PowerPoint in this section, uh, which I think is very odd considering it's almost designed as a bit of a study nook. It's just very strange that there's no PowerPoint. But anyway, so I just don't use that computer, but it's there and it looks cute. And if I ever need it, I will plug it in when I figure that out. I don't know, I'm still figuring things out in this place. As I mentioned, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and Squarespace is the platform that I have used to create my website. I have a blog. I also have a shop and then I do actually have a couple of 
free downloadable uh, challenges and workbooks if you sign up to my emailing list. As I said, Squarespace is the platform that I have used to create my website. They make it very easy to design and put a site together. It's also very easy to connect and integrate all of your social media accounts. So here I have an Instagram block where I automatically have my Instagram posts show up. And it's just a, a nice way to add an extra bit of content to the site and it's very easy to do. It's also easy to do with like Pinterest and Facebook and all the other social medias as well. They have a pretty big range of templates which will help you get started. So you'll be able to see all of the images that they place into the template so you can get a feel for how your images and your own content will look on that website in that particular layout. And they also have like a lot of popular designs you can select from, but then also down the side here, you can get really specific and uh, choose some designs that might suit your type of website. Like maybe you're in events or a restaurant or personal CVs if you're looking at creating a portfolio. So plenty of options to help get you started and for you to get a feel for how the whole website works. And as I said, it's very easy to do so. They have plenty of resources, tutorials, help guides, all kinds of things to help you navigate and understand how the platform works so that you can create an amazing website. So if you are interested in creating a blog or a website or something to do for your business, then head to squarespace.com, sign up. And once you're ready to launch, you can click the link in the description or use my code to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Anyway, now that my desk is all clean and organized, I think I'll be more inclined to sit up here because it has been so messy. I've just spent a lot of my time working from the couch. But now tomorrow I can get up and get straight into a nice clean workspace. Next on the agenda, I really just need to clean my living room and I have to vacuum the floor. I haven't vacuumed the floor in ages and I can see like little dust bunnies starting to accumulate. So I need to do that. This has become a clothes rack. I really should hang up all of my coats and cardigans and you know, put them away. So that's on the to-do list, but I just need to tidy, put things away and vacuum more than anything. also have not wiped down the TV unit since I basically moved in and um, yeah, there's a lot of dust. If you're wondering what this thing is, I have talked about it before. It's a propagating station and it's stunning. It needs to be hung up and then I can put some water and like a plant clipping in there so that it can grow roots and then I can plant it into a pot. It's just <laughs> something I need to do, but I haven't done it and so it's just living here for now. You might notice that this piece of furniture in my living room, oops, I almost fell over my coffee table. It is this beautiful tan ottoman that's just stunning. I love it. And this is from Kmart. So Kmart recently reached out to me, which was so lovely of them, and asked me if I would like to have a few of their new pieces from their August living range. And this was one of the pieces they sent. And it's my favorite piece. Like I'm obsessed because I totally would have gone out and bought this myself if I weren't, you know, planning to move overseas. But it's absolutely stunning and I love it. So that's my favorite piece. I also got this little cushion up here that's two-sided. So one side has like a, I guess a calico kind of on it and then the other side is a more what's it like a dusty rose suede but I kind of like the calico side just a little bit more because I feel like that ties in with my sort of color scheme going on in here but these are two new pieces and I'll jump back to some footage of me unboxing everything that I got last week I'm so excited oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god there's a pillow in there too Next up is this modular wall shelf, which looks really cool. Although I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it in my apartment because I'm renting and I just, I can't be bothered to go through the whole process to put something like that up. But I'll probably just give it to my mom for the new house because I think that would look cool and it would look good in the new place. First of all, um, I have my new beanie on. Is this not just the most cute little beanie you've ever seen? I love the three colors, like it's so cute. Anyway, it's my new beanie. I only got it the other day. I actually haven't really worn it and I was sitting on my chair and when I went to put all the stuff in the room, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear it because that's what I bought it for to wear. So this is my new little beanie. It's from French Connection. I hate to break it to you though. I may have bought the last one online. Like there was not a lot left, um, but I was so obsessed that I just had to have it. So 
I got it. Sorry if you can't get it and now I'm showing it off, but I love it. Anyway, I thought I would share with you a couple of the pieces that Kmart sent to me. I'm very thankful that they did send them to me, um, but they do have new stuff up on their website. Uh, sorry, not sorry, because I know you're going to go check it out. I have like 10 things in my cart now. I like really don't need them because I'm going overseas, but at the same time, I really want to buy them. So I'm just, I have like a bunch of different carts from different websites just full of stuff that I'm like, do I need this? Do I not need this? Should I check out? Should I not check out? Um, and Kmart's one of them. I always have something in my Kmart cart because I don't want to do like a single purchase. I want to do a bunch of things in one go. And I really would love for their like little mini tripod with the ring light on it to come back in stock online so I can buy that. And I want some wine glasses so that I'm not drinking my wine out of like kitchen glasses. And there's something else that I really, really needed or wanted. Oh, I wanted to get a bunch of the Kmart cleaning products because they have like really cool brooms and like dustpans and all that as well. So I was thinking maybe some uh, cleaning products, but yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff in my Kmart cart. I'm sure I'll check out at some point, but uh, yeah, I thought I would share that with you. So I have some new pieces, um, new styling. I'm gonna keep cleaning and then I might do just like a little bit of a living room tour, I guess. I still have like three boxes sitting here that will need to go back to my mom's. I just don't really know what else to do with them. It's kind of annoying because they're kind of ugly, but that's a thing. I also have some clothes that I can fold and put away. And then you can see the dirt and the dust and the fluff on the ground. There's a piece of paper. I don't know what the red thing is, packaging of some sort. So I need to just vacuum this and clean up. It feels so good in here, like so much better, nice and clean. I don't know why cleaning is so therapeutic, but it's amazing. Uh, I thought I would do like a bit of a living room tour, I guess, because I feel like this is one of the few places in my apartment that actually feels like it is done. So I guess I'll start over here. I have this gold side table. This is from Koala Living. On top of it, I have a little lantern thing from Target. And I also have, I think this candle is also from Target. And then I have this thing from Kmart, it's the grass again. As you can see, it is like folded over and yet it is still really tall. So I need to cut this one up um, so I can do the same to this one um, as I did with the other little one because yeah, it's really quite big. Then next to that, I have my couch. So my couch is amazing. This is like one of the nicest couches I think I've ever come across. It is like a 2.5 seater. It's super comfy. It's from Freedom. I bought it in 2018. I'm not sure if you can still get it. And they have like other styles of the couch. Like I think you can get one that has like a like an L-shaped one and maybe even a smaller one. They just had lots of different styles for this particular couch because it's got like the wooden legs, which is really cute. Super comfy. I have my two pillows. The brown one is from Target. The little round one is from Kmart. Next to them, I have my fabulous mirror, which do you like my slippers by the way? These are from Emu. They're new. I got these just a couple of weeks ago. Super comfy, super fluffy. I love them. But uh, yeah, so this mirror is amazing. It's giant. I managed to get it for an incredible sale. It was like $250. That's like an amazing deal for a mirror of this size, but it's really beautiful. It's from Early Settler and I'm not sure if you can still get it, but they do have a lot of really nice stuff. I also have my plant. I cannot remember what this plant is called, but it's really beautiful. This is the new leaf, you can tell because it's so shiny. And then underneath that, I have it in a, a basket that I think is from Ikea. One of these baskets is from Ikea. The other one is from Kmart, but it's in that. There's also like a, a, a tray underneath it. So when I water it, it doesn't affect the basket, but that's down there. Next to that, I have my gallery wall, which I absolutely love. And then over here in the middle of my two doors, I have a, what's this? Like, I don't even know what this plant is either. I got this from Ikea. And it's also in a basket that I got from Kmart. I'm not sure if you can still get this basket. I think you actually might be able to. And then over in this corner over here, I have this big golden palm, which is beautiful. Look, it's got a new leaf. I noticed this this morning. Makes me very happy. I think he's happy there because I'm pretty sure he's getting taller. He's a pretty big size. Um, and then I have him in one of these baskets as well. Again, I think this one might have been the Kmart one. I don't know. Kmart, Ikea, they're basically the same thing. And then I have this gray fluffy rug that is from Spotlight. Again, not sure if you can get it because I did buy this a long time ago. And then I have this 
ottoman that is from Kmart. My coffee table, which is fabulous. This is from Adairs. I don't believe you can get this anymore. I think I purchased maybe one of the last few ones when I did get it. It's just like a faux marble black coffee table. I think it's really, really pretty. On top of it, I have this marble tray from Adairs as well. Coasters from Adairs. This candle is by Rito, which is from Mecca. This uh, bamboo pencil holder is from Kmart. And then I also have a little Ikea iPhone tablet stand thing as well that I find very useful. And then my TV unit is from Temple and Webster. It's actually a buffet. Again, not sure if you can still get it. It's supposed to have little plastic gray feet on it and I didn't like it. So I just have it sitting on the floor. It's got three drawers down the middle, two doors either side. On top of it, I have a TV. This is actually my brother's TV because my TV sadly broke in the move. Um, but I don't watch TV, like I really don't. Uh, above that, I have like the air conditioning unit. And then on this side, I have these fake flowers from Target. This little box from Target, which actually has a bunch of like international money in it. I've like consolidated all of my international money. Oh, there's a couple of Australian coins in there, but it's mostly just all my travel money, which is something I'm not going to be using for a long time. And then, as I said before, my propagating station thing. And then I have this chair, which is a fabulous chair. This is from Koala Living. This cushion is from Freedom. This is my favorite cushion ever. And then I also have a throw rug, which is also from Adairs. But uh, yeah, that's kind of my living room. I don't know what this style is. I feel like I got like a little bit of gold, gray, cream, white, brown, tan, a little bit of black. It's just like a mix, but I, I really like it. And this is the nicest apartment I've lived in so far and I love it. As I was saying that this is just like my favorite apartment that I've ever like I've ever lived in. I just love the layout, the way that it all has come together. It's just like the cozy, nice place. So um, yeah, I love it. And it feels good to have cleaned it because this chair that I'm currently sitting on has had clothes on it for like a month. So um, I can actually sit here again. I just sometimes get into really bad, like I don't clean, thing ha clean things habits and it's just, it's not good. <laughs> so um, no, I feel very fresh and I'm glad that I did all of that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, what was I going to do next? Um, I actually need to go and get groceries, of course. What's the vlog without going and getting groceries? Because I haven't left the house in a few days. Also, man, I need to wear glasses. Like, I just looked out the window at the buildings in the distance and I'm like, I can't see anything. My eyesight is progressively getting worse. I need to order some more contact lenses. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and get groceries again because that's all I do. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Uh, and then, I don't know, I really need to clean the kitchen, but I think I'm gonna wait to do that when I get back because I don't feel like doing it right now. Hey guys, my last clip somehow disappeared, but uh, I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Up the top, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I'll leave a link to another one of my videos, and I will see you in the next one.